this is a passage that is often misapplied. Eye has not seen or ear heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. And very often we stop there and we give this idea like this is heaven he's talking about, you know. All these things that God has prepared for us in heaven. But verse 10 says, But God has revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. And when we back up, we discover that what he's talking about here is what God is doing in the world. The princes of this world, they would not have executed the Lord Jesus if they had understood what God was doing. They didn't get it. They didn't follow God's plan. And here we are in the world, and God has prepared things for those who love Him. He's really eager, the Spirit of God is eager to show us the custom-designed role He has for each of us to play in this world. There are no vestigial organs in the body, right? You think your pancreas is no big deal. You never think about it. It never crosses your mind. You don't have an x-ray of your pancreas up on the wall. You never thank God for your pancreas. But you know something? If it goes bad, you're in big trouble. The eustachian tubes in your ear, they go bad. You're like a drunken man. The little things, right? Ordinary, everyday things. We hardly, we hardly, they cross our mind. They are strategic. They are, they are unique. They are essential for the health of the body. That's you. That's you. And I don't know what you feel like. Maybe you feel like I'm not the type. I'm just not the person. God says, no, I'm the person. I'm the one who's going to do it. I made the universe out of nothing. And so I can use nothing to bring to nothing the things that are, as long as you put nothing in my hand. Right? You put it in my hand, you watch what I can do with it. What is that in your hand, Moses? A stick? You mean the stick? Yeah, you want to see what I can do with a stick? I can bring the, the, the superpower of Egypt to its knees with that stick. I can open up the Red Sea with that stick. I can bring water out of the rock. I can, I can neutralize Amalek with it. Eventually, it's called the Rod of God. It was just a stick, but it was a stick in the hand of God, available for God. God has a really big plan for me. Right? That's what this is saying. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard. It hasn't entered into the heart of man. The things which God has prepared for those who love him don't think heaven. Okay? Heaven's included in the verse, maybe. But the basic idea here is what God is doing on earth. The princes didn't get it. We get it. We have the indwelling Spirit of God. He's here to show us what God wants from your life. And I think, for every one of us, it's a really big idea.